to the vlog. <laughs> Number one. guys have been following me. I do a lot of challenges. Confession time. I love my challenges, but I just want to do one big challenge. I've been in this turmoil the last while of slave to the algorithm versus Kelty, what content makes you want to like thrive as a YouTuber? Like you just love doing it. It's vlogs. Years and years ago, I'm talking like 10 years ago, when it all started, I started watching YouTube and I love vloggers. I love the storytelling, I love the format, I love that you can make it your own. That being said, I also like doing challenges, but I'm in this turmoil. I have eight videos to do a month, and I find I, doing these mini challenges takes away from one big challenge, filter. I feel I'm just making content that I'm just like, just to fill, that's semi-good, that's not that great, and I've just been Bleh. Just Just being honest, I've always wanted to make vlogs. I've always wanted to do it. I hear it from you guys. One of the comments isn't, yeah, you guys like my big challenge, but it's that you like to see how I eat, like you love my relationship with food, with fitness, and just stuff like that, which I feel the challenge just takes away from. But I've always been scared of vlogging, because honestly, I'm just this girl girl from Edmonton, Alberta. Like, I'm just like, why would anyone want to watch a vlog I do? Uh, you guys have been asking for more personal content and I love editing vlogs. I love filming vlogs. I love just, it's it's what motivates me down the street and I think of these thoughts and I'm like, oh, I should say that, but that doesn't fit into this challenge. Uh, so here's me saying, this is vlog number one coming at you. Now don't worry, the challenges aren't going anywhere, but that's the thing, they're gonna be better. I'm gonna have like one big challenge a month. The vlogs will be behind the scenes. See a bit more of the day in my life is what the series is. I'm gonna be traveling a lot. I'm gonna take you guys with me. I wanna show you guys how you can do fitness while traveling, how to eat, how to enjoy bread and beer. That's minimal-esque. I have capsule wardrobe. I'm trying to reduce my carbon footprint a lot. Enjoy life with friends. We're gonna travel. We're gonna have some fun together. And I'm just really excited. And I would really like it if you guys give this video a thumbs up because I really, 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 really want my vlogs. <laughs> like really bad. And it just makes me so happy, honestly. I think there's one thing in life I'm usually like, oh guys, what you want? Okay, this is like, no, vlogs are happening because this makes this girl so happy. I promise the intros won't be as long as this one. Let's go vlog. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Oh my god. It's her turn on. I had these protein bars in Sweden over the summer. It's all in like Swedish or something. And they're the best thing. They're called Barbell. Found them in Toronto and I'm so happy. If anyone knows where I can get these in Canada. And it only has a moderate amount of fiber, not 20, 30 grams of fake fiber that makes your gut go. Hydration. Now bear with me as I learn to be a better vlogger. Shh, 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 shh. Drain. Some days I'm a lot more cinematic. Inspiring videos, B-roll. We're gonna go get a drone, do stuff like that. We have heart to hearts. Other times I'm gonna be a bit more jump cutty. I'm developing my own style and that's the trick. On this episode of Kelty Shambles with Laundry, how is this even possible? I did a load. It said N, it's been on for an hour. I just went to unload it. It's a fully intact pot. Science, how, how did this survive? I'm really confused. living in downtown Toronto is you'll be walking home from the mall and there's randomly a massive Christmas parade. Sounds great, sounds festive, till you realize you can't get home because the parade blocking you. Pros and cons, this is really inconvenient. Guys, my mind is blown. This has never occurred to me up to this point. I just took the stairs to the subway on one side of the street to go under the street to the other entrance. I'm just gonna be right under. This is as we're going on from one chapter of life to another, I originally started with doing Lulu YouTube hauls. I don't know if you guys remember that, so I thought an appropriate way to go on to this new chapter was to go to Lulu, aka I need a toque, and I currently only wear one, which wouldn't be that big of a deal if I didn't live in Canada and you need a toque every single day. Okay, that didn't work out. I didn't like a single color they had, or if I liked the color, it wasn't the style I wanted. Having a capsule wardrobe. I wear toque almost every day, so I can just by having a few toques. Now, fun fact, do you call them toques in other places? We call these toques in Canada. That might not be a thing in other places. I don't know, let me know. Also, fact I learned today. In Russia, they have a superstition that if you go in the cold without a hat, you'll get a cold. Like instantly. Speaking of Russia, I think I'm gonna go to Russia right now.
I couldn't have gone to Russia and not tried borscht. Here we are. So I just opened this and thought I'd include you guys in this. Russian energy drink. I have no idea the caffeine content. It's like if a Red Bull and a white monster had a baby. So it's worse than a white monster, better than a Red Bull. <laughs> Solid 6 out of 10. I read about these online in my entire two weeks in Russia and I never found them anywhere. Of course, if I did Starbucks in the airport, I just dropped my fork on the ground, so I'm gonna eat this with a knife. Apparently, they taste kinda like cheesecake. If so, I would take sweet treat over egg white bites. Can these two combined? Lovely on most things. I don't know how I'm supposed to eat this. I'm just gonna go duck. <laughs> it's an excuse to eat cheesecake for breakfast. Good morning. Good morning. First workout back from vacation done. Here's the tips I have used in the past whenever I come back from vacation because I know it's tough to get into your routine. If it's like a Saturday or Sunday, I just say I'm gonna move. Walk, a hike, I just clean my apartment, I just move. I just move my body and don't sit. Then I make it mandatory that the first Monday you're doing an early morning workout, no ifs, ands, or buts. That's a time to do group class because then there's money involved. I know they can be expensive, but try a good one, like a 20 to $30 boot bootcamp. In the scheme of things, that's not that much. Committing to it financially, and sometimes I think that's good. So I did a bolo camp class this morning at 7 a.m. I didn't really want to do it, but I got it, and now I feel refreshed and good and back into my healthy routine. Also, something happened in the class that I'm very excited about. This is gonna seem small, but it's a big deal for me. I have a really big challenge going on. It's been going on since July. You might be able to guess what it is. It's still, you won't see the video for like six months, but one component of it is working on my flexibility. And this happened today in the class. So, you know the yoga pose where you go here? They make you kick your foot up. This foot comes all the way up to your arms. Now, in the past, whenever I did it, it was like my hips would go like here, and that was kind of it. And I could never get my foot up to my hands, and if I did, it would have to be like this. Today, I noticed I was able to just go like, watch, boom, you see that? Boom, that hip flexibility. I have such type hips, I always have. I literally pulled my hips so much in volleyball growing up, but I maintained my flexibility as much as I could while traveling, because that was the easy thing to do. Even just did it for 10 minutes today. But that was really nice, so I'm very excited. So there was my first vlog of this series. I hope you guys are as excited as I am. Vlogging is just my favorite, just the storytelling, the us experiencing life together. Hopefully you can learn a couple things throughout my life because I feel I always have, not epiphanies, like we all have it, but I don't know. I just really like the creation of vlogs. I love filming it, I love this bit more personal side. I feel we can just take on life together. Hopefully you learn some tips and tricks. But yeah, I just got a bunch of really exciting things over the next year, a lot of traveling while still staying fit, while still trying to be a better human, learning more about sustainability. You're just making the world a better place because I'm in it versus the opposite. Living a healthy life so my body can do more, so my body can travel, and just living my most joyful life. Every day I wake up and I just wanna feel light, and I hope that feeling resonates onto you guys, and I encourage you to get out and do those things you've always wanted to do. Like me, always wanted to do a vlog series. So I hope you guys like it. Give it a thumbs up if you do, so I know to continue on the series. But I, I really hope it brings you guys a lot of value, and we just have fun and enjoy. And I will slowly develop my own vlog style. That is a big goal for me for 2020. And we're gonna create this fun little show thing together. So thank you for tuning in. Like always, thank you for allowing me to hopefully create this vlog series. And I'm just, I'm, I haven't been this excited for saying in a really long time. I feel full in the best way possible. I love you guys. Hope you have a great day. Go pet a dog.